Ulrich Nieser defined cognition as all the processes by which the sensory input is transformed, reduced, elaborated, stored, recovered, and used. Cognition is the study of the mental processes underlying our ability to perceive the world, remember, talk about and learn from our experiences, and modify our behavior. It includes functions such as perception, memory, problem solving, imagery, reasoning, decision making, language, thought etc. Cognitive processes are continuously taking place in your mind and in the minds of the people around you. Whether you pay attention to a conversation, estimate the speed of an approaching car when crossing the street, or memorize information for a test at school, you are perceiving information, processing it, and remembering or thinking about it. Three reasons for learn about cognition. A. Cognition occupies a major portion of human psychology. Psychologists have discovered some impressive information about every topic in cognitive psychology. Even though cognitive psychology is extraordinarily central in every human's daily life. b. Cognitive approach has widespread influence on other areas of psychology, such as clinical psychology, educational psychology, and social psychology. It also influences interdisciplinary areas. For example, a journal called Political Psychology emphasizes how cognitive factors can influence political situations. c. Cognition is more personal. Your mind is an impressively sophisticated piece of equipment, and you use this equipment every minute of the day. The mind is a limited capacity information processing system that behaves in a law-like fashion. Cognition is the product of top-down and bottom-up processes. Top-down processing refers to the influence of knowledge and expectations on functions such as language, perception and memory. Bottom-up processing is processing driven by an external stimulus. Cognitive functions are often assumed to be modular, that is to operate independently of each other. Cognitive psychology is defined as branch of psychology concerned with how people acquire, store, transform, use, and communicate information. Cognitive psychology is the science of how the mind is organized to produce intelligent thought and how the mind is realized in the brain. Cognitive psychology is the study of how people think about information, communicate others and control our behavior.